So a lot of you asked for this device, which I didn't think you guys would be interested in, but I'm talking about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. If you've done the unboxing on the channel, you can check it out, but this is all about gaming on this device. Now we know we have the S Pen and it works really well. You can do a lot of things with it, but we're not talking about that here. We know it has Dex, and if you wanna check that out, go check out TK's video. He's got some really good tips on this. But what about the gaming experience? Now, I could start lamenting, but let's jump into some gameplay first, taking a look at Xbox Game Pass games, playing some FIFA, we're playing a bunch of other games on here, PlayStation Remote Access as well, uh, playing, of course, some Final Fantasy, some God of War, seeing how it works, and also listen to some music. Just let's jump in. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. That's the right way to use this tablet. It's a 14.4 inch tablet. It's massive, right? And those games looked absolutely gorgeous. FIFA looked great. It looked sublime. It looked really smooth. Forza Horizon was smooth as hell, as you would expect. The gaming experience here was really, really nice and absolutely enjoyed it. Now, playing Mortal Kombat, same thing, you get the whole experience, but God of War looked like I was playing on my TV. That's what you're getting with this lovely display from Samsung, and also this great real estate that you have right here. Now, in terms of audio, this thing really takes the cake. Now, we listen to some, of course, uh, copyright-free music, but also the gaming experience and hearing the sounds really clear. That's because of the quad speakers, they work really well. Um, and you've got Dolby Atmos built into it. Now, some of you ask, okay, we had that with the Tab S8 Ultra from last year, why should I care this year? Well, I think it's the fact that when you pick up this tablet, first of all, it's so much lighter than what we got from last year, it feels really comfortable to hold, and is just really nice. Very vivid, very sharp. You can also use your accessories from last year, like the Folio keyboard case, and, uh, and stand. The one thing to know is the camera hub on the back is actually larger than the case itself. So it doesn't fully fit, even though your S Pen everything can be housed, it may fall off while using it. Speaking of the cameras, how good is that front-facing camera? Yeah, this is what you get with the front-facing camera on the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Uh, max video resolution is 4K 30, no 4K 60. Um, but switch to the and to the front camera, so you know there you have it. Okay, so Thundee, you've told us this is great for gaming, uh, console games, remotely, Xbox Game Pass, that kind of stuff. What about my Android games? What's my experience here? Well, I'll put it this way: Android gaming on here is really good, but also cumbersome. For instance, Call of Duty Mobile it supports controllers plays excellently. You will dominate and terrorize people with it as I did. It looks good. It plays well. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course you're running of course 89 frames per second. No problem. PUBG Mobile doesn't support controllers so you're using the touch screen. It's more difficult to play there. Same thing with Genshin Impact. Now mind you in terms of performance you're going to get great performance on this. It's called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. Look Benchmark wise, you know what's gonna get. On the tablet, it's much better because you've got improved vapor cooling. So you game for a while, and honestly, my temperatures did not go past 97 degrees. That's it, aka, you know, 31, 32, something like that, degrees Celsius. So performance wise, you're going to get great performance from this device. Overall, I like the Tab S9 Ultra. I think this is something that allows me to do a lot of remote gaming at home quite effectively. In terms of a travel uh, tablet, it's a little too large for me. Um, I think it just feels like I'm carrying the screen of a laptop because it's 14.4 inches. It's rather big. But when it comes to home use and gaming at home, this is perfect. And I think this is the tablet that is for people who are looking for that or just want the best maximum 
Android gaming tablet. Now, if you're looking to pick this up and you're watching this before the 11th, the uh, trading offers up to $650 uh, for this on Samsung's website. So use the links down below to pick them up. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.